Hello, YouTube world. It's Hey Keisha. So, guys, I'm here to do a video, and I just wanted to share this video with you guys. This is something that happened to me years ago. I don't remember the exact time it happened, but it's a definite share. So, if you guys would like to see exactly what I have to say, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I just definitely had to share this with you. So I was about to lose my house when like years ago, my first home that I purchased, I was about to lose it and God came through for me. Like I have so many testimony about how God is so great, how he's so lovely, how he's way maker. He is a way maker, a definite way maker. I know this time a year, like what's going on right now, we are about to lose our mind because we lost our job. I, for myself, lost my job. And you don't know how you're gonna pay your mortgage. You don't know how you're gonna pay your rent but God is an on-time God. So I would just like to share this moment with you guys. This happened when my children was just born. Well, the twins was just born. They were, so that I guess I would say this happened in 2008 and I was home on mat, mat leave and I didn't know, I just could not afford to pay the mortgage myself. Um, their father and I broke up. We had a really, and I'll tell you guys a story in regards to that, but we broke up and I was left by myself to take care of four children plus paying the mortgage. Now I have to pay the mortgage. The house is in my name and I was the one that purchased it. And I did not know what to do. I went to help, went to get help from the, the city because they would help you with a one-time payment, like a one-time payment for your rent or for your mortgage. And they were telling me that, no, we're not gonna help you, you need to pay pay off for your you need to sell that house if you cannot afford it and go rent yourself something that you can afford well this is an insult to me because i'm some single mother i have four children and um i pay tax been paying tax been working ever since i've been in canada so i don't understand why some people that are sitting on welfare that decide that they don't want to work and they're able to work like they're able nothing is stopping them from working they're on not on mat leave they're not sick or anything but they're able to get all the help that they can so i took the step further into going to to the mayor for the city at the time and i wrote the mayor a letter and i told them i pay my tax been paying my tax for years live in this house for i think at the time i was living there for about seven eight years so I'm like been paying my like I don't understand why can't you guys help me the way you've been helping others so anyways that's not the story that I really wanted to share but that's a part of it I was about to lose a house and I'm like oh my gosh I don't know what to do this time I was like so I was going through so much like heartbreak so I and with my kids father and everything and I just didn't know what to do who to turn to I couldn't look towards my friends. My friends, them, wouldn't, they're not able to help me. They financially not stable and able to help me. My, and I, like, the only thing that I know how to do, God, is to just pray. And I've been praying. I thought about, honestly, I thought about committing suicide. But I'm like, no, I want to see my kids graduate. I want to see my grandkids. And I'm like, God, if I do that, I will never be forgiven. And I want to go to heaven one day. And, um this will bring tears into my eyes honestly because it's the first time that i ever realized i realized that god is an awesome god and i remember going to church I, I i i wasn't praying i wasn't going to church i was just so completely lost and i went to the service that my one of my friends invited me their church so i went to visit their church and i went with them and the pastor was preaching and it was a really good service and they call altar call and I went up there and I brought my key my house key and I was talking to the pastor and I'm like please please I was just so desperate normally honestly I do not go to those altar calls and you know like try to show myself and I remember the pastor said to me God is not you're not gonna lose 
I was giving him the keys and like, please pray over my keys. I don't want to lose my house. And he said to me, you're not going to lose your house. He goes, this is just a, a, a stone throw that God is trying to get your attention. He's trying to get your attention because you haven't talked to him. You haven't acknowledged him in such a long time. And he needs to hear from you. And this is the, he knew if he did this to you, then he will be able to hear from you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this still doesn't do anything for me. I don't want to hear this. I just want to know how I'm going to pay my bill. And I'm like, God, God, please help me. Help me, Lord, help me. I Spiritually, I wasn't where I am today. I believe in God. I grew up in the church, but I wasn't where I am today. I didn't know what, I didn't know when God is speaking to me. I didn't know how to trust him. I believe in him and he knows that I believe in him and he knows that I love him but there was just some disconnect. And I remember one day I was home and I'm like, court is coming and I call my mom and I'm like, I, I went home and I started praying. I just like been praying and I started to pray, God, you need to hear from me, here I am, here I am. And I just pray and I'll pour myself and I just like walking around the house and I think I went around the house and I started touching the house and touching the house. I'm like, God, you gave this to me. You gave me, give, gave this to me. Why are you taking it back from me? You said you never, you will never bring me this far and turn your back on me. This is eight years that I have this home for. Why am I losing it? Why am I losing it this way? And like I got, I was supposed to go to the court. The, I, I believe it was the Tuesday, the, the following Tuesday I was supposed supposed to go to the courthouse and I just didn't have the money I was supposed to come up with like nine thousand dollars I was three months behind and I don't know where I'm gonna get nine thousand dollars from I honestly don't know honestly my daughter my my twins I couldn't give I couldn't breastfeed them I didn't have any milk I was just so stressed my body wasn't producing any milk I didn't want it to tell anyone what I was going through. I didn't want it to ask for any help from my family, family member because I feel like it's not their problem, it's mine. I was the one that get myself into this situation, get pregnant and have children, you know, and I just, I just, I, I didn't even have milk to give them. Guys, I made a water and put a tip of sugar in it and that's what my children had to drink they didn't have milk to drink and that's what i gave them to drink water with some sugar in it and they drink it and that's why some people said i spoil my kids right now they went through a lot i gave them that water and that sugar and i mix it and give them to, to drink so that i can save every penny that i was getting so that i can provide a roof over their head i called my mom and i was talking to her she knows they knew what i was going through but they didn't know how deep i was in with this and i told my mom i said you know what it was a tuesday and i said and i was telling her i'm going i have to go to they're, I'm, they're gonna put this thing on my door and i'm gonna lose my house and the bank is gonna take it away from me and i don't know what to do i don't know where to go i don't know who is gonna take like I have four kids like where am I gonna go and my mom stood on the phone with me that day and she prayed for me and she prayed for me and she prayed for me and my sister prayed for me she said to me I remember she said to me go down it was 11 o'clock the court of the court was for nine o'clock in the morning and it was 11 a.m. so I mean, it was two hours late and I said I'm already two hours late she said no go down there show your face go down there so I said to her stay on the phone with me while I head down there and I brought the two kids with me one in this hand and one in the other and they were like three months old I think and I went down to the courthouse and I went in and I told them my name and they said well your 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 um your time was your court date is today but your time is 9 a.m it's 11 a.m where you're going right now and I'm like I I, I just don't know what to do so I went into the court I sat I went in and someone told the judge who I was the judge said that the court was finished but they're gonna get the lawyer from whoever the um, the mortgage company had gotten to come back because they went while I'm in the court they got the um, the okay the approval to go to my house to put the lock on the door get me out or put 
it was to just um I, so i was just sitting in the courthouse and he said and he called the lawyer and i don't understand what they were speaking and i heard they said as per point um one point this that 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 you need to be here because the young lady is here yes she showed up late but she's here and uh, as far as we know that this lawyer was he won the case and he went to go to go golfing with his friends and other lawyers i guess and while he was there he didn't want it to come and they were just going back and forth on the phone with the judge eventually decide that he's gonna come so about say one o'clock i was there and he showed showed up and i was so nervous because i didn't know what to do i don't know where i'm gonna get money from i don't know where i'm gonna go this is the last court i'm two hours late and i'm just distraught i i, I and my two little three-year-old three months twins was with me and the judge when he came the judge called my name and asked me to stand and i stand and he asked me how long have you been living there i believe it's either five i believe it i believe i'm honestly i'm gonna say about five years and i was telling and i said i was been i've been there for about five years now and um he said okay so that means you should have equity guys i didn't understand anything about equity i just bought a house because that was my gold i didn't know nothing about equity so he was like that mean you have equity why would they want to take back the house knowing that you you have equity and he was just going back and forth with the um with the lawyer that the that the mortgage company got and i stood there i didn't have to say anything i just answer uh, two questions that the judge asked me and i stood there and it was like god himself sit on the judge like was speaking through the judge he goes i'm not leaving because i do not i am not leaving this court and this lady has nowhere to go with her children i am going to stay here and he goes until you can drop whatever you can drop and come to an agreement to have this lady stay into her house and i stood there and i'm like god it must be you that speaking truth this man because he doesn't know me but he talk as if he was my father he was my biological father he's like i am not leaving this court tonight until you can come to an agreement and if you have somewhere to go and they were just going back and forth back and forth and god is so good i went home i went home and i told my mother what happened and they gave me about a month to come up with some of the money so this is nine thousand dollars so if i can come up with half of it or pay a month or pay two thousand something that i need to pay and let me tell you guys let me tell you i was supposed to make this payment on december 5th i don't remember the year but i remember the date december 5th and i tried everything i tried went to, renting out my basement there was a girl that rented it from me but whatever i'm charging is not going to be able to, i can't it's not gonna come up with nine thousand dollars and I applied for this thing that calls um, a child tax benefit that I didn't apply for in the because I guess it's monthly and it's two kids so I applied for it and I'm like I, 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 I just trying to figure out where I can get this money from and let me tell you how on the 13th I believe I think I was supposed to come up with it I don't remember if it's January if if it's december but i remember that they paid child tax benefit early that month because they usually paid it paid to you before the um the christmas holiday and when i got the money i believe i'm gonna say that the amount that i owe was nine thousand six hundred and say forty five dollars when i got the child tax benefit it was nine thousand six hundred and forty five dollars who could that be but god who could that be but god and you want to tell me that there's no god you want to really tell me that there is no god the exact amount that i needed i got into my account i was able to pay it off and i had this house that i just recently sold if you guys see my video before this that the house was sold about 10 years later i live in it for it bought two more of it, two other houses run right now there's one another one even though i sold it i have another one that is rented and i just move into another one so i have 
it that one house but two other house for me so in total I have three homes but I sold one and now have only two left God is so good guys he is so good he is so he's awesome he's awesome he's an awesome God and sometimes I just look back and I'm like I was going to lose this house and this house brought me bought two more houses, and I have so much equities that if I want to buy another house I can God is an awesome God he is an awesome and ever since then I just tell myself that I need to speak to him because with if this didn't happen to me I would be completely lost I will be in sin but he reached down deep inside of me he reached he reached down where he knew that i was gonna get be hurt get hurt and he showed himself to me that he's here he's here he's here he said to me all the time now that i can understand when he speak i will never leave you neither will i forsake you the exact amount of money that needed for my mortgage was what I got from the government. So the government had called and said, um, they didn't call, sorry, I received a letter from them that state that they overpaid me. Yes, they did overpay me. And they said that it's okay, next year they will take it back when I, re when I do my taxes. I just want to just thank you God I just want to thank you I just want to thank you this happened so long ago but every time I think about it and just think how oh, God is good it just cheer me up and I'm so grateful I get to know him I'm so grateful to my family for bringing me up in the church so that I can understand God so that I can understand that there is a God and he is a way maker and if he makes ways for me so many ways for me he's gonna make ways for you so honestly if you're struggling with your mortgage and with your rent just put it before God my thing is pray walk around your house touch it claim it claim it claim it this mortgage will be paid my rent will be paid seven times seven days do it claim it claim it claim it and watch god work watch god work watch him work watch he did it for me you he did it for me and he will do it for you and he's doing it again for me because right now I'm not working I haven't been working since January my mortgage is almost four thousand dollars let me put it out there almost four thousand dollars when I'm I don't know how I'm doing it why he's just making ways there's food in my house my mortgage has been has been paid then go in like God is so great he's just so good just seek him seek him seek him seek him the Bible said seek him first seek he first and everything in this world will be added unto you and I am so grateful I am so grateful and I just don't want to rumble on for too long but guys the money came and I was be I was able to just pay that house and I had my house for so long and was able to buy two more house using money from the equity from that house and I bought two more house I had ended up with three and sold one who could that be I just hope this reach someone heart and just guys you can share it with share this video with whomever need to see it because God is a way maker when we are think when we are thinking or wondering where is it gonna come from where like when our back is against the wall he's making ways we may not hear we may not see it but eventually 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 he you will be able to see what is he has done and you will be so and be grateful be grateful be grateful be grateful and thank him thank him constantly 
thank him thank him constantly because if it's not him if it if it's not for him you wouldn't have been where you are today if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have been be where i'm at today i am honestly grateful 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 so grateful and i just want to just thank god i just want to thank you thank you lord thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for making ways out for me there god you have made so many ways so many ways out it just blow my mind how you do it I don't know how but you do it God and that's why I just wanted to just reach the mind and the hearts of others and let them come to you and realize that you are the only one God and you are the only true God and you're mighty and you have us and that you'll never leave us neither will you forsake us touch anyone that's going through the same situation that i was going through their god and see them through their lord god see them through their god make that way out for them so that they can glorify you in your name jesus i just want to thank you i hope you guys enjoy this video hope you have a great day a great week and a great month see you in my next video